underwater robot. We consider the underwater robot uh, Sosis of uh, Insta Bretagne, represented here, and participate to the Sosi competition uh, at least uh, five times. It includes uh, a computer and propellers, cameras, compass, and sonar. And in this context, we have to to guess what is the uh, input, what corresponds the the output vector y, the state vector, and the set point uh, uh, w. In this context, the robot has uh, three propellers, one vertical, one here, and two lateral propellers. We can see only one here. There is also a camera in front, there is inside a compass, there is here a sonar, and this sonar is able to send some ultrasound that will echo by some walls, and when the sound come back, it will allow us to measure some distances. So what about the vector u in this context? The vector U corresponds to uh, the electric uh, voltage given to the three propellers. And uh, so we can say that there is three inputs because we have three propellers. And what about the vector Y? The vector Y includes the compass, the sonar data, and the images taken by the camera. We can understand that this system can be described by state equation of the form x dot equal f of x and u, y equal j of x, but due to the fact that what we can see in the pool and what we can measure of distances uh, with, with the sonar is also depend on the map, for instance the shape of the pool, which is which has to be included in the function j. So in this context, we assume that the map of the environment is totally known. So what I represent here is a model of what we have here. Okay, what about the controller? So the controller will be, I will represent here, the controller which make uh, the, the robot autonomous. So the controller will take some information from Y because in practice the vector, the state vector X is not known. It, uh, we can only guess it via an observer that will be inside the controller. So this one is not known the controller will compute the three vectors u1, u2, u3. Now, what about the vector x? The vector x includes the degrees of freedom of this system. So, for instance, it can be written like x, y, and z, the coordinate of the center of the robot. It can also include some uh, vertical uh, speed, uh, a tangent uh, uh, speed, like I can say uh, Vx for instance, there probably in this context there is no lateral speed, so we can avoid it in the model, and this is, we can have also to include uh, the heading uh, Psi, and we may assume that uh, there is uh, no other angle such as a pitch or roll, in our model, since in this context we can assume that all the weight of the IUV of the robot uh, are at the bottom, which make it naturally stable, stable with respect to the pitch and the heading. Now we are also to include some set point W. So in this context, W may correspond f uh, to a desired heading or a desired speed or a desired position. Moreover, in practice, we have an automaton which, give, which will 
probably give a set of wave of uh, wave waypoints to the controller to uh, uh, to as accomplish uh, a mission. So this can be uh, this is a planner, and building a planner or a supervisor will not be considered in uh, uh, in this uh, lesson.